Happy Monday and welcome back to the Rainer's Kitchen. It is a meatless Monday. This um, cabbage vegetable stir fry goes perfect with rice and peas or pair it up with, you know, anything or just eat it by itself. It was so delicious. You can actually enjoy it by itself. I'm going to start off by washing my vegetables. I got my cabbage. I got the tricolor peppers, my scallion. I have the tomato, you know, scotch bonnet pepper. Give everything a nice little kick. So just wash those thoroughly. Then I'm going to cut my cabbage in half, reserve half for another day. All right. And I'm just going to use my shredder. You know, growing up, I would see my aunts and uh, my mom and everybody use a knife to shred cabbage or to to, you know if you want to cut up the cabbage but if you want it to be real nice and fine we're going to use a sh i'm going to show you guys how i use my um shredder but before i do so i'm just going to peel my carrot with this this is a different um carrot peeler just get everything nice and cleaned then i'm going to cut my peppers in half you can use half to a quarter it's up to you just depending on how big they are I have all colors you know just make it look real nice and fit and festive so the mandolin slicer uh, you can't just use a regular gloves you have to put on the gloves that came with it um this will protect your fingers you know when you're great i know i'm great to off your fingers so i am gonna use this it slices the peppers nice and uniform i am doing that with all colors just make everything real nice like i said in uniform it's gonna look like something you bought at the store already pre-packaged in a factory all right and then i'm gonna use it to do the same it's adjustable with the carrot i know it looks like i'm struggling but it's not i'm just like okay i don't want to cut myself but anyways we're gonna do the same thing with the onion and it does have this handle so it pushes it through it's like nice little julienne the onions and everything comes out perfect just like that all right only thing i did not um shred in here or slice is the tomatoes so the tomato is rather soft so i use a knife for that and it shreds the cabbage to perfection it's adjustable if you want the cabbage thin or if you want it thicker so see how beautiful that is just the way i like it so everything is prepped and ready to go and you can actually find that slicer on my amazon storefront like i said I'm gonna leave all the links in the description box. I've already um, heated up my wok with some coconut oil. I am adding about one onion, a tomato, about four stalks of scallion, thyme, little scotch bonnet pepper, and then I add about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of all-purpose seasoning. I'm also adding a little salt and pepper. But I'm gonna toss this for a few, probably about a minute or two, all right, there's the green seasoning and that recipe is on my channel you can scroll down so we're gonna add the carrots and i'm gonna add all the other peppers toss this for a few minutes and then we're gonna add the cabbage this will be ready in less than 10 minutes basically so add the cabbage just gonna toss this for a few minutes just mix everything up make sure you mix it well you can add some water i'm just gonna add a little bit of water probably about two tablespoons just a little because you know cabbage definitely spreads for its, its own water or juices all right and we're just gonna cover this up for a few minutes and that's gonna be it you can pair this up, like I said, with some food, some white rice, rice and peas. I did pair it up with some rice and peas. You can also see that recipe if you scroll down on my channel. And you know, so plantain goes with everything that I make. Plantain is definitely a must. I think I go through a, a box of plantain <laughs> per, every week, all right? So find the plantains, how you like them. I fry them in oil. You can deep fry them, makes it easier. But you know, I'm right here at the stove, so I'm just gonna drop them right there in a frying pan and there's so many ways you can cut your plantain so this is how i cut it you know when you share for enough people this is the best way to cut it all right and make sure while you guys are here hit that subscribe button the notification bell and go ahead and give me a like on this video drop some comments in the comment section let me know if you do meatless mondays this is the rice and peas that um you can do this in the rice cooker or your pressure cooker. I made this in my Ninja, so that's what it is. And dinner was served. Everything was delicious. All right. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.